Hello and welcome back. I hope you are all well and uh, starting to enjoy your caravanning season. At the moment it is the uh, start of the February half term and I'm just up at the caravan to look at a small job that uh, I possibly need to do. A while ago I did a video on replacing the LEDs on the grabber handles in the Bailey Unicorn. Uh, and I was contacted by a uh, guy who subscribes to the channel called Mark Orcott and he told me about uh, a potential problem with one of the pipes on the Alder Eating and it, the fact was that the pipe is, is catching on part of the framework of the seating at the front of the van and it was causing a split, uh, well it potentially could cause a split in the pipe so that's what I'm going to do today is just have a look at this pipe and just see what's going on and this is the beauty of this YouTube and doing the videos because obviously I've put a video on somebody's contacted me and told me of a potential problem and now I'm investigating it and, and then showing it to the rest of you so I think the community that we've got is really good in, in terms of sharing ideas and sharing different uh, practices that people do as you know that Alder eating system is basically uh, the same as a car it runs on water being heated up and it has a header tank which goes through around the caravan and makes a, a nice ambient heat inside the water it has ethylene glycol which is a antifreeze which stops it from freezing obviously um, and I don't want that all over the van so let's have a look the pipe is down the front of the caravan front end of the caravan and I'm going to try and show you this I've taken the seats up and the benches up and it's this piece here as you can see it bends round the actual frame I'll put it on the other side of the uh, of the seating now what Mark was telling me that while the caravan's been towed and this is moving it's actually catching on this corner of the wood and making an indentation in the pipe now these are molded pipes like you would find in your car um, so it will move but if I move to the back of the pipe you can see it's I don't know if you can see that it's quite shiny so that suggests that it has been rubbing as you can see it's not secured here and it just fits onto the back of the front radiator there so what we're going to do is I'm going to put something around the back of here to hopefully stop that rubbing now I've uh, thought of lots of different ways of putting something behind that pipe to protect it and uh, over the last week or so I've been thinking about different things I could put there and um, quite bizarrely and strangely, I actually ordered, now you bear with me on this one, I actually ordered a pair of shoes from Clark's and when I got them delivered, it had these within the shoe. So my idea is to put that, fashion this, and put that down the back of the pipe because it's got this curved profile, it's hopefully gonna mainly push the pipe away from the, the sharp edges of the wood. So that's the insert from a shoe and I'm just going to cut it down and then I'm going to fasten it to the back of the wood. Let's hopefully see if that works. So what I've done is I've cut the piece of cardboard and then I've pushed it down the side and it's quite secure within there and what it's done is just obviously the edge of the, the seating frame there is now protected by this curved piece of cardboard which goes around the, around the back of it and hopefully it will stop that pipe rubbing uh, on that piece of wood. I'm not going to secure it in because it is quite secure there, but I will keep an eye on it to see whether it moves or not. So there you go, just another quick fix this week. It's a short video uh, because I've got quite a lot on this week. I'm going down to the uh, caravan camping and motorhome show down at the NEC. I'm going to be there on Tuesday, so if you see me walking around, please do stop me and, and you know have a chat. Uh, Thanks again to Mark Orcott for pointing that out uh, about that pipe. I would never have known about that unless you put a comment on the video. And I think that's what's great about this caravanning community is we're sharing ideas together and uh, enjoying our caravanning. So thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>